it's time for the curtain finale as far as the classic season in India goes. And Hyderabad plays host for this high class annual equine carnival. While the HRC, headed for decades by Surinder Reddy, gears up for the mega weekend of Indian horse racing, five Bangalore boys got together to discuss and debate the possibilities and probabilities of the main contenders in all the group races on Invitation Cup Weekend 2019. <laughs> I'd like to introduce my panel. We have Arjun Mangloka, Aslam Kadar, Zen Mirza, and Irfan Gatala. We have been the same panel which also discussed the Indian Derby. And I think we got it pretty right and pretty wrong. But I think we have our independent views and I think that's the fun of having a diverse debate with different opinions. For all who do not know, Sir Cecil unfortunately has been retired with an injury. He's going to go back to stud and he probably is going to get about 15 to 20 mares. So that leaves us now with the question which I'm going to ask my panel. Is Star Superior the best horse in the country and the one that has to be beaten in the invitation. What do you say, Arjun? I definitely think so. We got it totally wrong. Uh, we thought he wouldn't stay. He stayed beautifully and uh, everyone would have to beat him. That's my opinion. Aslam, what do you think? I told you first that it will be very fast race. But I also thought that it will not stay, but it will stay. So, do you think that it will be the same? Yes, I think that it will be the same with our Bangalore Road, the Derby, the 10-meter. I think that it will be very close with it. Interesting. Zen, what do you think? I called it wrong. I gave the edge to adjudicate in the Derby. But I was very impressed with Star Sophia. He outran his pedigree. And more than that, I think credit to the trainer, he got the horse to settle and Suraj rode a peach of a race. You know, outstanding performance. What do you feel? Yeah, he did settle in the Ruya and he showed that uh, he could be consistent at, you know, relaxing in the Indian Derby. So, of course, he's going to be uh, relaxed and as long as the pace is nice and strong for him. I think um, he has beaten horses that were in doubt. Uh, adjudicate had a fever when she landed. Sir Cecil had a setback, so he didn't give his best. So now he's running with the uh, older horses, horses that have been very experienced and who have raced and seen a lot of uh, different tracks. So it remains to be seen how well he does with them. So as you can see, the panel is quite convinced that everyone has to beat Star Superior. And we are now going to have an in-depth discussion on all the group races. We will start with the Sprinters' Cup first. I'd like to start off first with the Sprinters' Cup. And to discuss that, I'm going to ask Irfan to begin this discussion with what do you feel is the danger in the Sprinters' Cup to Rufina. Moretiana, he's a, he's a gutsy horse. He's, he's the horse that is going to run her close. Okay, then what do you feel? The Sprinters' Cup, as you know, is a lottery. It just depends on how the race pans out. And there's some really good sprinters there. There's Tutankhamun is there. Um, Captain Courage ran a big race in Bombay when Rufina didn't run. Uh, we don't know the extent of her setback, if it was a setback. But yes, Rufina is head and shoulders above the others on, on her day. So what do you think, Aslam? I think it's a one-house race, but the jockey change was a lot of difference. Do you hear that it's a lot of difference? It's a lot of difference. If it's a lot of difference, he knows the feeling. So you think it will affect it still, even though she's so superior? Absolutely, because the draw number will keep a lot of difference on her. 
नया सवार बैठा है मेरे ख्याल से पहली बार बैठ रहा है वो भी हाँ उसके पहले कभी बैठा नहीं है वो तो अगर क्योंकि इतनी फास्ट रेस हो गई है और घुड़ी कहीं से भी आती है वो लेकिन सवार चेन में तो काफ़ी फर्क फर्क पड़ेगा उसको I think it's pretty wrapped up. I think Rufina would win it, and we'll have to best find who'll run second and third. And I would go with uh, Captain Courage and probably Tutankhamun. Correct. I think that pretty pretty much sums it up. The firm first favorite, Rufina, no doubt. But as the vagaries of racing are always there, even the Sprinters Cup is probably the one which the chance of luck is what really matters here. We are now going to discuss the Stairs Cup, which is also run on Saturday, and I'm going to begin this with Arjun. You have two runners in that, Kambaku and Fabulous. So I'm sure you are pretty confident having two good Stairs with you. What's your take? Well, it's the Stairs Cup. Like Zen said, the Sprinters Cup is a lottery. The Stairs Cup is the ability of a Stair to stay. And if it's a true run race, then you'd get the true Stair to run. But most times in India, racing is not run. It's true run racing, and let's hope it's a true run race. I have two good stairs, and I'm secretly hoping I run one too. Oh wow! Any danger? Eleven other horses. Asan, <laughs> you watch my script. मुझे पसंद है उसमें stairs के अंदर जैसे इनसे मैंने बताया कि ये कम बाकी बोल्ड हो जाता है. Longest race है ये. तो अगर ज़्यादा बोल्ड हुआ, अगर सवार को कंट्रोल है तो बहुत मुश्किल है. और ये घोड़ी मैंने देखा हूँ जीतते हुए हम बैंगलोर के अंदर और सेम वो संदेश बैठ रहा है घोड़ी उसके हाथ में अच्छा क्या यू थिंक शी विल स्टे हंड्रेड परसेंट ओ दैट इज गुड टू सिंस आई वॉन इट एज गुड टू नो कमिंग फ्रॉम यू वेन वॉट डू यू फील आई थिंक इट्स अनदर ओपन रेस देर आर समीजन स्टेयर्स इन हियर देर इज राइस देर इज फिवलस वॉच माई स्क्रिप्ट फिली ऑन दी अप एंड आई थिंक इट्स फेली ओपन Because um, the older horses like uh, Rais and Frivolous have been consistently doing the distance. Watch my script is doing it for the first time, so she has an extra 600 meters, and so have uh, the others to catch up to. There are some um, real season stayers running in that race. They have been doing the distance many times, so I think uh, if they travel well and they're good, they have also got an edge. Mm. It's a it's a very interesting race. We are going to be discussing Sunday's racing, starting with the Super Mile. That's the first Group One race. Then, what do you think? Another nice competitive race, interesting race. We have uh, New England, who won impressively on the Derby weekend, beating Sergeant at Arms, but getting eight kilos. Sergeant at Arms, not quite at his best, but I hope we see the best of him. Uh, who makes the rules will probably be making up that finish. And hopefully Cambridge will also be in the shake-up. His performance in the De Khaitan Memorial Gold Cup was very impressive. But I think we have to also realize that Sajid Khan has not raced for a very long time. Mm. And as I'm going to address Asim on this question because of the jockey, yeah. could it be that Akshay who, Kumar was not ridden Sajid Khan also, uh, you know, was nervous riding a horse with such a reputation, and he probably sat back too far. जी वजह से मैंने आपको पहले बताया कि जब जॉकी चेंज होता है लगता बहुत इजी है क्योंकि उसको अगर पुरानी रेस देखो उसको तो जैसे अब वो संदेश बैठ बैठ के कैंट करके जीता है ब्यूटीफुल सेटल करके लाया लेकिन एक चीज़ है एक घोड़ा अमरीका जाके जब वापस आया काफ़ी मॉक रेस वगैरह खाया उसके बाद में भागे जैसे अभी इन्होंने बताया कि वो इंग्लैंड आठ किलो का फ़र्क था अब मेरे ख्याल से अक्षर उसको जान गया है घोड़े तो मेरे ख्याल से काफ़ी इजी जितना चाहिए यहाँ पर आई क्वाइट एग्री विद असलम आई थिंक साजन टू टर्म्स इज अट अबाउट दिस फील्ड एंड एवरी वन एल्स इज रनिंग टू सेकेंड एंड थर्ड गुड इरफान नाउ इज गोन बी डिफरेंट स्टोरी आई थिंक इज टू गुड फॉर दिस फील्ड इसमें मैं और कुछ ऐड करना चाहूँगा मॉक रेस जो होता है मैंने देखा है कि हर ट्रेनर और हर जॉकी का एक अपना अपना कॉम्बिनेशन होता है 
अपने हिसाब से जाते हैं लेकिन वही घोड़े जब एक साथ में भागते हैं तो जो पोजीशनिंग में मॉकस में तुम करते हो या ड्रॉप करते हो वो रिस्क में आपको नहीं मिलेगा वहाँ पे आपको जितने घोड़े भाग रहे हैं उनका दिमाग रीड करना पड़ेगा राइडर का दिमाग रीड करना पड़ेगा पोजिशन ही करना पड़ता है मॉक रिस्क बिल्कुल अलग है रिस्क और बिल्कुल अलग मेरे ख्याल से हैदराबाद का इतना गर्म होता है और वहाँ के जो ड्राई हीट है बहुत फर्क पड़ता है ऐसा तो थ्री हॉर्सेज हुआ रनिंग टू रेसेज आउ आई बिलीव तूतन कमन इज वन जी मॉरिटानिया इज दर वन एंड स्माइल स्टोन तीनों को फर्क पड़ेगा वहाँ के डिफिकल्ट दूसरे दिन जी हाँ बिल्कुल मेरे ख्याल से कॉस्ट ऑफ ब्रावा बैंगलोर so he's got right. all in last year he ran third to rufina in the sprinters cup right. and we've not had a horse from chennai to come out for maybe 20 30 years so let's hope you feel costa brava is yeah, the first with the first choice kabala yeah, walochi yeah. being very uh, consistent comes in the reckoning jaisa abhi unhone bataya ke dono din bhage rahe to kuch extra de hi nahi sakte saline wagaira bilkul to kitna pani pi ke gora वहाँ की ड्राई हीट बहुत बहुत खराब हीट है ऐसा मुझे लगता है क्योंकि मैंने काफी राइड किया get into a really in depth discussion on that so here fun the last group one and the race everyone wants to win What about Salazar? He's a brilliant horse, but uh, he is a horse that can run an amazing race, and and at the same time, he if the pace of the race and the way he's been taken uh, is not in his favour, he can give you a, a not such a good performance. So, I'm just hoping. Salazar is definitely looking very well. I was very happy with his run last time, but personally, I feel this two four is just beyond his compass. I think he's best at two thousand, though he did run second, uh, third last year. to kangra and temerity but uh, this would be an interesting race i mean star superior comes out head and shoulders above the others now that he's proved that he settles he stays and he's done it in a fairly good timing in a good manner of winning adjudicate i expected more from her but i don't think she's going to improve much on that performance he's going to come up against um, the older brigade which is kangra Salazar Desert God all formidable horses and uh, the new one in this mix is going to be Smasher because he won his race very well but carrying yeah, nothing you know forget, he carried 50 uh, kilos yeah. him nearly 9 or 10 kg exactly so i think exactly. that's a hell of a ask for a horse to Absolutely. carry level terms with horses like that in within one run yeah tough asam what is your एक स्टार सुप्रियर और द इन्वेडर अगर आप देखोगे अगर टाइमिंग के हिसाब से तो स्टार सुप्रियर दोनों में पाँच सेकंड के कुछ फर्क आ रहा है लेकिन एक चीज़ देखो आप यहाँ पर बहुत स्लो रन रेस हुआ है जो मुझे नहीं यहाँ की यहाँ की जो उसमें पाँच सेकंड बॉम्बे का तो मैंने आपको एकदम फास्ट रन रेस हुआ और जो ग्रे घोड़ा जो साउंड नहीं था तो अनफॉर्चुनेट तो खराब भागा लेकिन ये घोड़ा मैंने देखा है ये जो इन्वेडर जो है स्कैनिंग ब्लिंकर ये ऐसा नहीं कि पाँच छः लाइन छोड़ के जाएगा बस जितना पास करके वो उधर ही रहेगा लेकिन मेरे ख्याल से लगता है दोनों में बहुत क्लोज रही एंड ऑल्सो अनदर थिंग टू नोट ट्रेवर हैज बीन ऑफर्ड क्वाइट ऑफ यू हॉर्सेज टू राइड बट इज स्टक बाई द इन्वेटर 
The only thing is that I think the last people were saying that the Derby became a sprint. So whether he really stays the trip, we'll know. No, but the he. Uh, the interesting part is that though he was going from a mile to a two four for the first time, he was quite settled throughout the race. And uh, uh, when he turned for home at the seven hundred, he had a wall of horses in front of him. He had to just try. He had to go literally uh, ten deep and make his run. And he's uh, he. And he's he yeah, but it was a, it was a. It was a crawl in the first. Uh, yes, it became a so, seven furlong sprint. Fair enough. Fair enough. But literally. taking into consideration that he he can he has a temperament to relax and he's got a good turn of foot and he's he's going to improve from the you know in the next two four of his life. I think uh, we have we have seem to be uh, ignoring ignoring him. him. Correct. Yeah. That's a good point, Arjun. Uh, I think interesting point. What is your well, I have a different take. When we started these debates, we started off with the two greatest horses we've seen in the crop, and we've taken out one of those horses, uh, that is Sir Cecil. So, I stick with Star Superior. Now we get to the second point of my of the discussion, and I say whether older horses and the four-year-old crop, since the invitation has been open to older horses, it's only been won by four-year-olds. So the handicappers and everyone felt that we need to revise the weight difference. And we've run one invitation cup, which was again won by a four-year-old, on a revised weight difference. So we are coming into the second round of uh, the invitation cup with the revised weights. And I still give Star Superior my number one pick. And I think I would go with Desert God, Adjudicate, Invader, all these to fight for the minor placings. Not fair, you didn't mention Kangra. Very biased. <laughs> Zen, what do you think? I go with Star Superior, Desert God Kangra. Yes. <laughs> Gatala, it's all up to you now. Okay, I'm not going to have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you have to. It's not in my best interest. <laughs> no, but. No, what actually, uh, I'm hoping that my horse runs a great race, and that's about it. So am I. We all are hoping we run a good race. Yeah, so. But anyway, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Since you have a runner against me, then same to you. Aslam. <laughs> Give you my answer. Yeah, wish always. All the best. <laughs> so, to sum it up, I think it's pretty unanimous that everybody has to beat Star Superior, and he is the firm favorite. All of us hope that we can all win since we have runners. But I think we have to be realistic. He's the horse, he's also the younger one. Until this trend doesn't change where the older horse has beaten the younger lot, I think we all have to give Star Superior the number one pick.